what is going on everybody welcome back to another one of our videos today we're going to be talking about what is a convolutional neural network and why are they so useful what is a neural network it's essentially a deep learning algorithm that takes an image as an input and is able to assign various or understand various aspects of the image and assign its importance and uses weights and biases to do that so let's talk about the pre-processing. The pre-processing in a convolutional neural network is a lot smaller uh, than other networks. And so most networks will be able to understand filters through hand engineered um, filters that are hard coded into the algorithm. But with enough training, the convolutional neural network can learn these filters on its own. So what, is, what does this mean? Basically, the, the, the neural network can understand characteristics of an image a lot faster and learn them a lot faster without much input from the user. You might be asking, why not just take the image and flatten it? So take the matrices and flatten it into a nine by one vector and just say, okay, let's feed it into, uh, let's feed it into a multi-level perceptron and that will be it. That's it. So for you guys who don't understand, basically just flattening the image looks like this making it into a matrix looks like this. And so then we can take that matrix, put it into an algorithm, the algorithm will say, this is what the image is. Well, it's kind of a little bit more complicated than that because these matrices, the accuracy that the classification algorithm might output is a lot lower than something that a neural network could do. Why? A neural network can capture the spatial and temporal dependencies of an image with the filters that it uses. What does this mean? It basically understands not only the pixel values, but also understands the context of the image. So the algorithm gets an input that looks kind of like this. It's on the screen. It's an RGB um, image with three color channels and a height of four units with a width of four units, for example, four by four by three. So the real goal of a convolutional neural network is to take an image and shrink it in size but maintain the features that define the image. So the whole idea is to use basically a, a, a convolutional layer uh, called a kernel that puts a filter over the pixel values and based on the output of the filter, it compresses the image but maintains the structure of the image. So as you can see on an animation that's going across the screen right now, the filter will go across the image and output a certain value. So the, the filter um, goes over an input channel, which is the input image. The kernel channel moves left to right over, so it captures every pixel and outputs values. And the output is a smaller image. So we might have a six by six image um, with a three by three kernel. And that makes our image a four by four, as you can see. On so after this convolution happens, we have something called a pooling layer. And what this does is it's also trying to decrease the size of the image, but less the size is actually trying to manipulate the computational power that is required to process the data that we're getting. So it's trying to reduce the computational intensity of the, of the process that is processing the image. So there are two types of pooling. We have max pooling and we have average pooling and they both have kind of different functions. So as you can see on the screen, max pooling will take the maximum value from a set of pixels and average pooling will take the average value uh, from a set of pixels. So both have different functions and so then the convolutional layer and the pooling layer form the ith layer of a convolutional neural network. And so depending on how complex an image is, the number of layers may be increased for capturing low levels, low level details, and it might be, be decreased depending on the complexity of the image and the user's ability for, or the computer's ability for computational power. So this last part is a little bit complicated, so I'm gonna go through it slow. So the final, uh, set of layer that we're adding is called a fully connected layer and it's a great way to find the nonlinearities in our neural network. It's a great way to find the nonlinear relationships in our neural network. And so 
now that we have converted our input image into the format that we have that we want to have we flatten it into something that's called a column vector which is right here and so the flattened output is fed to a feed forward neural network and then we have a process called back propagation which i explained in a video that will be right here you guys can take a look at that and so after the weights are adjusted and over a series of epochs, the model is able to distinguish between the low level features in the images and classify them using softmax classification. So softmax classification, as you see on the screen, is a function that we can use to classify the, the image that is the input. And it's a series of mathematical equations that uh, it's for a different video for now, but basically what you have to understand is that softmax classification is a function that's applied on pixel values and based on the output of that, we can understand what is the image the model is looking at. So to kind of summarize uh, what is going on here, we start with our input image. Then we have two times of convolutional, the convolutional layer and pooling, and then convolution and pooling, where I explained convolution turns the image into a certain format and reduces the size. Pooling then reduces the computational intensity of the image or the processes of the image. We do this twice. Then we flatten the image to get into the certain uh, format that we want to get in. We use a fully connected layer in addition to the softmax classifier to finally get our output. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below. We'll be answering them. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.